I'm Bob Miller, Color Services Manager for IT Supplies, and today we are going to talk about the revolutionary V1070 and an easy way to set up jigs in Flexi. Let's take a look. Flexi is one of the leading edge rips when it comes to embracing new technologies like the V1070. At the time I'm recording this, the printer has not yet been officially released to production. That said, SAI Flexi has been working closely with Epson to provide enhanced drivers for the test units in the field. Let's jump onto my desktop to see how this software works. So we're gonna create a new jig today. And one of the first things that we wanna do is just double check that our setups are correct. So here I have the V1070 driver, and I'm gonna click the down arrow next to it. And we're gonna to go to uh, default job properties. In the default job properties area, we're gonna double check that our media size is correct, and it is. And um, we're going to, uh, drop down all the way to the bottom here where we have jig. So here we can define a jig layout. Let's click on that. All right, so here you can set up your media size. You can set up each jig size. So we have an eight by 11 media size. We have a two inch by two inch jig size. The spacing between each piece of the jig, uh, each spot is 0.3 inches. So uh, we can make any adjustments we want here um, in order to make a jig for whatever the purpose is. <laughs> Here, I'm also, I've gone ahead and pre-saved some other jigs. So like I have a 3.75 by 3.75 coaster jig. One of the cool things about what SAI Flexi has done here is that we have a button called Print Jig Layout. So when we go and we print the jig layout, we can print that on translucent material and that translucent material we can then set on the bed and it'll actually have an outline for where to place things. So in this case, um, I have coasters. So if you don't wanna actually get a jig made because the coasters are pretty heavy and you just need to know the placement, you can actually print this out, place that on the bed and then go ahead and place your coasters. Uh, the other option that you have here is we can go to save as EPS. So if we do that, we can then give that EPS file over to a jig manufacturer and they can create the jig based on the dimensions and everything that you see here. So you can print the jig layout, you can save it. So um, also one last thing that I do wanna mention is once you have everything defined, make sure that you save it as one of your jig layout presets. So right here at the top, we have this little disc icon with the yellow, that is the save as button. Go ahead and click the save as button, name the layout that you're saving, and then uh, go ahead and save it. You'll be able to bring it up later very easily as I did here. We can go between the 2.2 or the two inch by two inch and the 3.75 jigs just like that. So that takes care of the initial information about the jig layout. Now, how do you use this jig layout? Let's go ahead and take a quick look. We're gonna go ahead and grab a few jobs. I'm gonna grab four jobs here. So one, to four, and I'm gonna add them right here. Okay, so we've added our jobs, uh, and I've set this up so that the rip holds the jobs before printing, um, and we're gonna select the jobs right here as soon as they're done loading, and we're gonna go ahead, and actually we can go right to the top and we can click the nest button. Now all four jobs are nested. <coughs> If I right click where it says the nest for jobs, we can go to the job properties tab 
And this is where you're actually going to apply that uh, jig. So um, we have the defined jig layout. We'll double check that we have the one that we want. In this case, it's the coasters. Uh, so that looks right. So now we can go ahead and apply the jig layout. And now the coasters, everything has been changed proportionally and it's all set to print on coasters. Uh, one quick thing, we can go back to define jig layout. We can go to the two by two jig that I created. We can hit okay. And we can uncheck this apply and reapply it. And now you can see it's set up for that two by two jig. And then if I want to uh, click on these and select them all, I can actually go and print up to three sets and then those will all be printed when I go ahead and click set. So as soon as I send this to the printer, they'll be sent uh, and uh, can be printed right on the jig that you've created. I hope you found this video useful and I certainly would love it if you would take the time to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. When it comes to printing and color management, IT Supplies is here to help your business succeed.